It is important to talk to people who have been to places. They can say what really happened and how they felt. Chernobyl in Ukraine Force helped me understand that nuclear radiation is more serious than I thought it was. I did not know that radiation burns people really bad. I didn't know that people had to leave everything behind and couldn't go back home. I found it interesting that some families still live in Chernobyl and animals still live there. I found it interesting that even though the cars left behind were contaminated, people were taking the metal to sell and make money. Fukushima in Japan Mr. Miranda Levy talked to us by Skype from the Dominican Republic. Do you want to just give a brief explanation, introduction to, to what you've seen maybe in Japan? Uh, you can connect it to Haiti, you know, what, what work you have done. Haiti had an earthquake on January 10, 2010. Last week, I was able to witness firsthand the impact of a major natural disaster and how people react and the needs of the people uh, overly. You said that you've been to many schools. Have any of the children been affected by the radiation? The schools and many places throughout uh, the north of Japan Radiation is not that high to make you sick right away, but it's still dangerous to eventually make you sick within the, the next years. He told us what he did to help people with the radiation. He asked us to encourage them too. Like, keep going, you can do it, no matter what, keep going. So that's why we say Gambate Japan. Gambate Japan. Gambate Japan. How'd that sound? But now we need more enthusiasm and we need to see those hands up in the air. Look here and say it again. One, two, three. I found it most interesting that he went to schools that had radiation. Mr. Miranda Levy helped me understand that you get sick if you live by radiation. But radiation can also be good for your health. It really takes out the cancer. I learned how nuclear radiation can travel by the wind. You can't stop radiation from spreading.